Hi, this is Jack again. So I was where the Anunnaki placed themselves as per agreement with the Atlanteans um, in the Earth's core around there and the planet was out in the universe but not far, quite near to Earth itself and interdimensional though. So, what they had learned from the Atlanteans was that everything in its essence, that which it actually consists of, the foundation, is sound. And the development of gold itself was through a was done through a specific method of sound frequency manifestation. Uh, the the tools specifically they used uh, to develop gold was through the sound frequency resonance. And so they 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 tried an interesting method which they hadn't considered previously. Um, in the in the when they when they had that other planet the the, the one with the um, which I told you about the first one then take into consideration is the following they actually they don't actually have to be there the whole time they don't have to uh, assign uh, people uh, of their race beings of their race to remain there the whole time and and um, manifest gold in the specific way they did it, they're actually able to have gold automatically manifest in the earth and then come back now and then and thus obtain the gold when necessary. So they placed in crystals. Now these specific crystals were given to them by the Atlanteans. Um, which was the manifestation of the specific sound frequency which they acquired to manifest this gold from. And they placed it on into four, four corners of the world inside the earth. Now, if you take the, the earth and you um, draw like a, a square inside it, those four points exactly in the center was where they placed these uh, crystals with a specific sound resonance and sound frequency. Uh, which would then specifically align that which is necessary within the core of the earth to manifest gold. And they then designed a specific grid line in the earth. Now this grid line was where accordingly this gold would manifest uh, inside the earth as the earth. And that's what exactly how it happened and then all they were required to do was of course dig up and to a certain extent we'll get there too in a moment so um, firstly it wasn't manifested in terms of they didn't need to dig it up they merely just came and fetched it into dimension they were actually able to like you know it's like sticking your hand through a wall and take, then manifesting that there let's say you have Let's say you're building a wall, a cement wall, and in the center of that wall you're placing in a gold piece. And you build it, it's dried, everything. Then you have someone basically reaching in, grabbing a hold of that gold piece, pulling out their hand with the gold piece, and the wall, everything still remains the same. And that's basically how it was done. But it was not yet not manifested as this physical manifestation. It was reasonably, but not completely. Everything was merely sound movement. So, then, they're probably asking, were there trees, were there animals, um, was there, um, what should I call it, plants, flowers, insects, uh, yes and no. <laughs> the Atlanteans themselves okay, inhabited this earth because of the water. Um, but it wasn't water, it was sound movement um, in a manifested expression. And 
in terms of what you see now as trees and plants were <laughs> interesting. Uh, the Atlanteans would, would take their, 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 their child expressions. There was a manifested land form, yes. Um, that was that which basically stabilized this entire planet in its manifested expression. In other words, you'd have basically this planet being water and it just fell infinitely, <laughs> which they didn't want. So the Earth, to a certain extent, contained water, contained the water, and contained the manifested form of Earth. You had the central point, which is the core of the Earth, which you know of, uh, which was there for um, gravitation, of course. And all these things, the Atlanteans placed in. Um, because there were many planets... Um, in the galaxy then that didn't have a core we were able to manifest on so they existed on the planet but interdimensionally so their uh, manifestations were interdimensionally I'd say that Earth was the only planet where gravitation existed uh, because of the Atlanteans they were very wise <laughs> and so that's also it was from that gravitation now you're asking, how, where does manifestation actually come from? Where does this physical form come from? From the Earth's core. Because of gravitation, because of that gravitation point in, in, in the Earth's core, um, as the Earth's core. Excuse my definitions of specific words, but um, in terms of, I'm, I'm, I'm completely going back to that moment where I observed everything and, and learned everything. And um, so these definitions and such definitions didn't really exist, so I'm explaining it as, as best I'm able to, to have you kind of comprehend and understand what went on, you know, what was going on. So the actual manifestation of this world as it is was because of the Earth's core, the gravitation principle. Why? Because... What am I able to take as an example? Um, you have those things children play with that you kind of pull out, you string it out. It's a round circular kind of a play thing and you can play with it up and down, up and down. So let's say for instance you have, um, you have this thing stretched out. That would be basically, and it looks different, it looks individual in its expression. Then in terms of the Earth's um, core, that brought that all of this galaxy and universe's components together into one, which is compression, which cause compression. Okay, uh, this is Jack. I'll continue in my next interview.